hey, it's Tippy again. I actually have some new products that I'm wanting to try out. Um, I'm not too sure if the mask thing is gonna work out. Like I know you guys have seen me open up packages of masks and sublimate some. So the first ones I sublimated were these, which I sublimated the art on. And these actually would have been okay if the strings had any give. Like these don't have any give. They're not elastic at all. So when you put it on, They're very tight. Like this works for my face, but I have a small face and even then it's a little tight for me. So I know this is not something that I could potentially sell because a lot of people are gonna be angry and they're gonna say, why did you sell such small masks? So I said, okay, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna get the size up from this one. So this was the small, there was no medium. It was like small, medium, and then there was large. And so the next size was this one which as you can tell already is in like crazy large. So this is the size of the one that I did that I said was too small. And this is the next size up, like where's the medium? Where's the middle ground? Look at this. What the heck? What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Obviously you can't buy sublimatable masks in like one. So I have a whole pack of these gigantic masks and nothing to do with them. So unless I like advertise as like extra large masks, which I could do just to get rid of them. Honestly, I think I might do that just like extra large mask. I probably do that because I'm not feeling that they're too big. These are too small, those are too big. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna go with a different style of mask. I'm gonna make sure it says just like regular unisex adult mask. And I ended up with these. So these, I went with one that has an elastic on the ears and it even has an, an insertable nose thing so that I can um, make it so that it can bend on your nose and all that. And it also has the like elastic adjusty band things. So I can slip those on the end and then I can slip the nose thing in once I'm done sublimating it. So I try this one on and. It's not terrible, but it's also still not the right size. Like look how big it is. I mean, once the nose thing is on, it'll be like, that but it's just it's weird shaped it's not the right size i'm not happy so i think i'm gonna give up on the face masks for now probably because nothing seems to be working and i'm tired of buying packs of them because like i said you can't buy these in one so there's a whole pack of them here and this is just the nose adjusty and the um ear adjustable thing so yeah not happy i'm not happy with these but i'm also going to try out the face masks that i bought which i don't know if i said anything about but i did buy these face masks these are sublimatable on one side they're black and they, there's adjustable band and on this side it's white so you can sublimate on it and it's very like plush they're a nice size they're very plush they're not like super thin they're nice and thick so I think this is a good quality product and I'm gonna try sublimating on it. I did some art specifically for these masks. So I'm not like putting a piece of artwork that I already have on the mask. I did art just for these. It's like these eye drawings. So let's get into that. All right, so as far as the artwork that I did specifically for these masks, um, ignore the rest. Oh, actually, okay, so I just wanna just quick, quickly, I've been getting into like invaders and fan art and someone needs to confiscate my iPad cause I'm doing the most. <laughs> Anyways, this is the artwork that I did specifically for um, the mask. So I have this one where it's just the black eyes. And like, if you follow my art, then you know that doing like things like this is my thing. I do like the black eyes. I have these starry eyes right here, starry eyes and the starry eyebrows. And then I have the galaxy eyes right here. So I was going to do three versions of the mask and only just release those three. Call it a day. Try not to do too much. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be sublimating these drawings onto the masks. Also, I'm loving the iPad. Like I'm having a good time with it. Clearly, I might be having um, too much, too much of a good time. <laughs> also, which version do you like better? Do you like booty short and auto with the black outline? 
or booty show non turtle without the black outline i think i'm gonna post the one without the black outline i'm feeling that one more but someone needs to confiscate my ipad because i'm doing the most <laughs> All right, so as far as the mask task, task, <laughs> this was the first one that I pressed. And as always, the first one is always the trial and then you, you know, fix it from there. So this one, first of all, is crooked, but we're gonna ignore that. As far as like the actual quality goes, I think I pressed it for too long. I went with the suggestions that they had, but after I did this, I did make it lower by 15 seconds because this one is extremely flat. If you can see, it like took all of the poof out of it all together. And once again, it has that like muffled look, which means that it was too high or that it's gone for too long or that the temperature is on it for too long. So took it off by 15 seconds. Also, I just don't like these eyes on here because I think it's just, they're too small. Like they're too small for the mask. So if I was gonna, maybe I'll just release these two where these are like much larger and I really like the way this one looks. This was the second one that I pressed and this was with the 15 less seconds on it. And if you can see, it doesn't have much more poof, not that you can see, but you can feel it. Like this one feels way flatter than this one does. I don't know if that's gonna change like, if it'll like fix itself, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what the second one is looking like. And then the third one was just the black eyes. And like I said, this was with the 15 less seconds. And it's, as you can see, it's not like muffled kind of like this one is. And I just, I think it looks good. I like this one. So I think I'm just gonna release the super black eyes and then the galaxy eyes. And maybe at some point I'll redo this one the eyes are just too small. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I wanted to try out small eyes anyways just to see, but they just don't work. So we're going to go with these two. And I'm happy with the results. I think they look good. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to better line it up. Like, I tried my light box. Obviously, you can't see through these. It's black on one end. It's thick, so you can't really see through it. So I couldn't see exactly where I was placing the thing. Maybe I should just make a like a template and then I can just stick it like right inside of it or I can draw around it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure something out for how to line these up properly. So once I start taking orders for them, I'll figure out the proper way to do that. <laughs> Since I'm dressed for the occasion, because I didn't get out of my pajamas today, I thought I would just show what it kind of looks like. Um, I'm not gonna put it over my eyes, but like, you can kind of see, you can get the gist of it, of how, like, just how large it is, because it's a really nice size, covers the face properly. So, I'm happy with this. think it looks good. Okay, so in addition to having the sublimatable masks, I also have these, like, ones that are cotton on the inside, and then, like, I don't know what material, like a stretchy elastic material on the outside and for these I wanted to try to do some for my witch shop because as you know I have three Etsy's one for my art shop no two Etsy's I'm sorry one for my art shop one for my witch shop and then I have a Shopify store for my pride shop so I was thinking I want to do like something with vinyl with these but the way they're laid out it's it'll be kind of hard to put anything on it so I don't know it'd have to be like kind of small whatever I was gonna put on it I just don't know if I want to do that today, maybe another day, because I actually have other stuff I need to do for my wood shop. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna save this for another day. Let me try this one. I always try at least one on, obviously, so I could see what it fits like myself. This one isn't bad. But because of the shape of these, I would have to have like a um like a heat press pillow in here. So then I have to order some of those before I can do anything with these for the witch shop. So probably going to order that today so that it'll get here Monday. And then I can test these out on Monday. So we'll do that. So I've already said a couple of times that I'm going to be having a pretty big sale in all of my shops. As far as my witch shop goes, uh, this is a product that I've been wanting to add for a while now, which are 
these little glass jar like earrings with herbs in them so i'm going to be working on those today i already sell glass jar necklaces but they're bigger they not this one because this is the single leaf sage but they basically look like this where it's like crushed herbs in a glass necklace so i'm gonna be doing that but today i'm gonna be working on the earrings so the idea is to have this little corked bottle have the herb on the inside attach let me open this up attach this little hook eye screw on the top and then the earring loop and there I'll have earrings and I already have the little jewelry boxes to go with it I already bought that in preparation for these I just I don't know why it took so long to get these I don't know what my problem is but I'm gonna be working on filling these right now and gluing them shut and these are just the little backs to the earrings because I know some people like those <laughs> okay so I think I'm just gonna go with these four herbs I believe I saw five let me check real quick Oh, okay, so I sell seven in the necklace version with the earrings. I think I'm just going to go with four. So I'm going to go with lemon balm, high stop, mugwort, and white sage. Um, white sage is obviously a must because that's one of the more popular ones and one that everybody knows and everybody loves. So I definitely have to go with that. But for the rest, I just chose some of my favorite herbs. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I'm going to go with. So I am doing five earrings for each herb. So I have ten bottles here. And fill all of them up. I'm gonna start with the sage. I do have a little itty bitty baby um, funnel, but you can't really use that for these because it doesn't really work with the herbs. Like if it was like a spice and you were just pouring it in, sure it would work. But for herbs, it doesn't. They kind of stick together <laughs> because they're not like just like regular spices, you know. So you gotta make sure you get it all in there. So my camera died so you missed the entire process of me deciding that these boxes were too plain and that I needed to actually put the name of the earrings on them but that I wanted to make labels so I actually just designed these real quick the drawings in the back everything besides the high stop because the high stop I got that from a free PNG website where it's like free to use the um PNG image for commercial use but I tried to find them for the rest just because they're labels I didn't think it was a big deal and I couldn't find them so I ended up creating them so I created these the mugwort if you can see like the light drawing in the background the mugwort the white sage and the lemon balm I drew those real quick on my iPad and then put these into Canva and made stickers real quick now these are gonna go on the boxes the boxes now have their cute little labels it doesn't want to focus okay there we go so we have the white sage mugwort high sop and lemon balm and these are all done yay i'm gonna see if i can actually get like a couple of these trays done maybe i can get like two or three painted so i'm gonna see if i can do that i'm sad that you guys didn't get to see the entire process of me creating the labels because that was fun and quick it was actually really quick to do i did it real quick i'm gonna actually show you the sketches so this is actually another reason why i'm really happy that i got the ipad because not only is it good for like when i want to do my art or my little comic that i used to do in high school that i'm now <laughs> turning into like a full-on comic on instagram besides that it's so easy to do stuff like this. So I was like, I want to create their PNGs. So just let me put a background on. I was like, I want to create um, images for this. So I'm just going to do it. And I literally did this in like 15 minutes. 
within 15 minutes I was done these all had I did all I did the drawings for the three of them and it was like one two three super easy so the iPad is a good investment in my opinion I think it's really good that I have it now because I did this super quick super easy and I was done all right so I'm just gonna show a little bit of what I actually did so I actually just sent the files over to myself and then once I did that I just opened up Krita I mean opened up Canva put this circle in the back turned it pink dropped my image in the back which is that uh stage back there the actual drawing dropped it in the background brought the transparency down to like 75 and then just wrote white sage found a font that i liked and i was good to go i then saved this to my computer and then put it into cricut where i took off the background and lined them all up and then printed them out and then i have my sticker sheet it's literally that simple i did it all within like 30 minutes maybe so yeah really simple really easy and then my boxes look all freaking cute like look at them they look so cute i think they look so good all right so if i end up doing more of these trays i'll probably just like insert a photo of them or something because i think i'm done for today besides doing this i think i'm done filming for the day i'm gonna put on some music and I'm going to try to get some trays done before my sister gets here. Oh, wait, I was supposed to bake a cake. Okay, I'm going to bake the cake instead. Bye.